Yo, what's up guys, Orkify here. In today's video, I hosted a 1v1 Zone Wars tournament, keyboard players versus controller players. If you guys do enjoy this video as always, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and consider subscribing. This video is an absolute banger. So make sure you guys watch all this to the end. I'd really appreciate it. Enjoy the video. Here we got Alpha first. Alpha is going absolutely insane. First round of round one here. Alpha looks like he's gonna go for the breakdown. I'm not too sure what Spirit's thinking. I don't think either of them are warmed up, but Spirit going for the high ground shooting. And Alpha is low. He's going to have to heal here. But I'm kind of excited to see how these players play. I know I've seen Alpha a few times. And I've even reacted to some of his videos. So I'm super excited. And I know Spirit's a good player as well. But I'm not too sure how they're going to play against each other. Because I know they're homies. So. Spirit looks like he's warmed up. Even though he told me he wasn't. So I'm not too sure if he just naturally warmed up or what it is. But it looks like a pretty good match so far. Alpha just kind of staying low ground. Looking for the high ground. But does fall a little bit. Keeping him low. Probably running a bit low on mats. And Alpha with a laser, but Spirit, but Alpha falls. Spirit with round one. Super excited now to see it from Spirit's point of view. Spirit is on controller, and Alpha is the one on keyboard. Alpha going on the aggression here right away. Spirit's going to look to try and regain high ground, but that jump fatigue's really going to screw him over there. He's still trying to get that high ground from him. Going to drop him in his box. He gets a nice pump there. Alpha looks down to get the next pump, and Spirit with the second round. 2-0 for spirit man here you go spirit instantly cranking alpha looks like he's left in the dust down there but i was gonna try and break him down spirit knows this he's gonna have to drop here and he does a perfect job of doing so it doesn't take any fall damage and it looks like, like alpha is just gonna play low ground here spirit's gonna spirit's gonna take it man he's gonna go for it spirit has no fear here look like he's gonna try and drop on alpha and that's what he's gonna do spirit going crazy with the edits i respect this almost takes his box does get a nice pump there, but they pull pump each other. Spirit this one, especially the controller player here with the aim assist in the box. I'd be terrified if I was Alpha. Alpha super low, Spirit pumps, and that's the win, man. Good stuff, Spirit. <laughs> GG. GG's. Oh my God, dude. For the second round, we got Breezeify and Warp. Warp is on mouse and keyboard, and Breezeify is on controller. Starting up with the controller player. I'm excited to see how this one goes, man. Warp's a nutty player. I've also reacted to some of his videos, and uh, I don't know too much about Breezeify, so uh, I'm excited to see how they're both going to play. I'm excited to see what's going to happen here. Reasonify is still trying to get those pumps down, but doesn't look like much has happened. And Warp is... I was going to say he's staying protected, but he straight goes for it. And I don't think Reasonify was ready for that. Reasonify down to 100 health. Warp going up for that pump down to 65 health. He's going to try and heal here, but I don't know if Warp's going to let him. He just keeps on pushing up. Reasonify knows this. And Warp going for the absolutely insane edits. What is happening? Warp's going crazy, and it looks like this is it for Reasonify right here. It does not look too good for Reasonify. He needs to get those heals off, but I don't think he's going to be able to, man. He's nervous. He's really, really low on mats, and maybe he lags out. I'm not too sure what just happened there. Excited to see it from Warp's POV. I always like it seeing it from the other person's point of view. Um, it doesn't look like Breezify actually lagged out. It looks like he's still playing, so I'm not too sure. Maybe just let him get it there. But uh, yeah, let's see it from Warp's POV. He's doing a weird uh, high ground, I don't know, retake or something, but 200 oh, pump my. off the bat. And Warp is up 2-0. Nah, I was not expecting that at all. And I don't think Breezify was either. Warp is up 2-0. One more round, and he does get to move on, man. He's going to try and protect a little bit. Try and catch him lacking. Does have one of his edits there. So he's just going to try and break in, and he's going to go for it, man. He already knows he has to move up. He does have the high ground, and it looks like Breezify fell a little bit. Might have taken some fall damage. I'm not too sure. It looks like Warp might be even clipping him. He might be trying to put him in the Taj. Breezify is terrified, staying in low ground. He's going to have to move up against the hill, but I'm not too sure if he's going to be able to do it. Warp does drop down, gets the 100 pump, and it looks like it's going to be a GG's. I think Breezify even knows it. And Warp is going for the edit plays. He's going for the clips. He wants to put this in his montage, and he is ready for it, man. Look at him go. Oh, my. There it is. There it is. 100 pump. Oh, and he runs out of ammo. He's out of ammo. No way. And he takes it, bro. GG's, boys. GG's. And then another 3 0. First two rounds gets 3 0's, man. All right, so round three, we got Diggy and Alex. Alex on mouse and keyboard. Diggy's on controller. I haven't heard much, but I know a bunch of people vouched Diggy when I tweeted it out. Uh, so I'm excited, man. Diggy looks like he's absolutely going for it. And uh, it looks like both players are really warmed up here. So I'm super excited. Hopefully going to be the best round so far. Both rounds before have been 3-0, and these players are aware of that. So they're looking to make all of the rounds 3-0. Diggy, looks like his controller might have disconnected there. Not too sure. What is happening to Diggy? Uh-oh. controller. Yep, I called it, man. His controller is cutting out. That is unfortunate, but hey, that's the controller life, man. 
I, uh, I heard that happens a lot, but it doesn't look like it's going to phase him. He's still going for high ground, even with that 20 HP loss from the zone. But uh, look at look at him go, man. Diggy's going crazy. I'm excited to watch him. Diggy's still trying to get that high ground. Alex is not letting him whatsoever. Diggy's going to try and shoot him up, but Alex is perfectly connecting. Alex is ready for him, man. Yeah, he connects once again. Diggy, 50, 60 points of damage from the storm here. Has to take his only single fish they're both in Zorm now. Diggy gets a good shot, and I think Alex went down to Zorm. Yep, he fell down. Good round one there. Both players building super well, but uh, ultimately dies to fall damage from not having enough mats. So I haven't seen this uh, this weird like ramp retake before, but I'm not too big into the uh, Zone Wars scene. So it got him in a box. Oh, Alex luckily does get out of that box and even ends up coning Diggy. Oh, my. These players are going right at each other. That's what I like to see. Definitely the best and most entertaining round so far. Look for the shootout, but Diggy can't break all of his builds since he's building out of metal. Both players are pretty low on mats. They only have about a thousand left, and in this game mode, that is not a lot. Diggy misses the edit, ultimately does get a little bit lower on the board. Alex is just staying perfectly above him, man. They both came to play, and I'm, I'm super excited about this. You look like a controller might have lagged out once again. Hopefully it does not happen while he's midair or it could be fatal for him. Still going for high ground. They're both going to start running out of mats here, especially last round. Alex did run out of mats pretty early. Diggy gets the 100 pump and it looks like Alex is going to run out of mats very, very soon. And so is Diggy. It looks like Alex might even be out of mats now. Diggy still has 90 builds left. He just has to leave Alex in the storm. And it's a GG. These players are overbuilding. Alex has a storm, man. 2-0 already. Maybe we can see another 3-0. That'd be three 3-0s. Looks like Diggy's going to try and go for it. He has nothing to lose here. The double edit, perfect execution here. Alex isn't going to try and take high ground, just stays low ground. He's really scared of losing that mats, man. Oh, and Diggy's in his box. Looks like this is a win for Diggy, but Alex does get out. Surprisingly enough, Alex gets out of that one. Wow. Diggy, probably just going to try and get in front of him and just laser him. Yep. If you can hear me. You can try and stay calm. And I was shaking a little bit. That was always messing up. Diggy giving his opponent some words of advice. What a nice guy. He's helping his opponent out. And this one looks like an easy win for Diggy. All he has to get is one pump on him. Takes the wall. Yep. Going to go above him. Full boxes that entire area. There's nothing he can do here. Diggy's taking everything from him. He's going to drop down. Should be an easy little edit play here. Diggy's taking absolutely every single build. Alex can even try. Pumps him before he even looks. Diggy's insane, man. This kid is nuts. Looks like Alex is going to try and drop down, try and just get some shots, man. He's just running away. He knows he lost. He knows he lost. GG's 3-0, man. GG's, boys. GG's. And the controller well, player takes it 3-0. What a nice guy. Yeah, I'm probably going to quit Fort, though, to be <laughs> honest with you. GG. Alex is quitting Fortnite? Diggy. What a nice component. GG's, boys. All right, for the fourth round, we have Thief versus Zyno. Thief is on mouse and keyboard, and Zyno's on controller. Super excited about this one. Thief pulling out the Renegade Raider. You know it's going to be a good time. I know Thief is a super duper sweat. Oh, I'm not warmed up. And it looks like Zyno's an even bigger sweat. Thief saying he isn't warmed up. Thief was coming into this thing, and it was going to be an easy little tournament, but I don't think he realized the Zyno's potential. Let's see it, man. I can hear Thief spamming all of his keys. He's nervous. And Zyno taking high ground right off the bat and going for the spam down. Let's see it, man. I, this can be a good game as well. Every single round so far has been 3-0. These players do know that, so hopefully we can see another 3-0. Uh, these players are not... Ad, these and I'll be the one that you never see back. like cheese. Oh. Let me go put on my cleats the way that I get up and run through the streets. 180 pump? Oh my, Thief taking round one. I was not expecting that at all. It looks like he's warming up a little bit. He's claiming that he wasn't warm earlier, but Thief should really get that heal off. Oh, Thief goes for the edit and 16 HP on Thief. And you know Zyno's low too. Thief gets another tag on Zyno. He has the pre-edits. Oh my, he almost died to the pre-edits. Fixing his pre-edits there hasn't turned him off yet. That is a setting. Silly little goose, man. Thief was not ready for that. Zyno's also healing. So both these players are low. Getting some heal back. Both players I, I seemingly miss each other. I'm not too sure. And Thief with a hard pump there. 2-0. It looks like it could potentially be another 3-0. All four rounds going 3-0. That would be pretty crazy. 
I know Thief definitely wasn't warmed up, but Zyna looks like he can definitely do some damage to Thief if you catch Thief off guard, but Thief is not letting him one bit, man. Thief once again going for high ground, but Zyno's just gonna hold it there. Both both get pumps on each other. Thief hitting for 30. Zyno hitting for an extra 87. And Thief knows he's pretty low. Takes the fish before the mini, so he can't heal up anymore. Zyno's just gonna try and get the easy tags. Breaks in his box. Thief at the pump, and Thief misses it. Oh, oh my god. My. And Thief with the win. That was a close one, buddy. Good stuff, boys. GG's. All four rounds go 3-0. Super exciting stuff. Unfortunately, some of these players just couldn't get it done when it came down to business. Now, we're going to be going into the semifinals. Let's get into it. Once again, spectating Spirit. This is the first round of the semifinals. Spirit on controller versus Warp on mouse and keyboard. Luckily, we did get perfectly even matches up. So uh, let's see it, man. Both players coming out with heavy pumps. Spirit looks like he's getting stuck in his box. And both these players are coming to play, man. They're not taking anything for granted here. Mouse and keyboard versus controller, man. And I'm not going to be surprised if Warp just tries to hold high ground here and shoot down a few times. But Warp's definitely going to want to have spirit run out of match i think that's his best option spirit does get that cone off spirit with the heavy pump and it looks like spirit's gonna take round one you cannot do anything against that controller in a box man controller with an smg warp had no chance in that box man here we're going into round two still spectating spirit spirit is on top here 1-0 and both these players can go straight for high ground both of them doing different retakes but it looks like spirit's gonna get up top first and warp is stuck down below spirit's gonna get an easy pump there absolutely free pump Warp looking for one, but unfortunately can't catch it. And Warp looks like he's just going to try and take high ground. And Spirit doesn't really like this. Spirit with another free pump, man. It looks like another 2-0 here from Spirit. Going to try and break in his box and get in, but not too sure what options Warp has here. He's going to try and get past him, but not too sure if Spirit's going to let him. Warp's going to go for another pump, of course, and Spirit hits him right back. And Spirit's going to retake high ground. Easy for him to do. Both these players are running out of mats. I wouldn't be surprised if Warp was fully out of mats here. Looks like he is. Spirit knows this. Spirit's dropping. I'm going for the clip. <gasps> Spirit almost fell. Spirit's going to drop him in and shoot him. Spirit ran out of ammo. Warp with the kill. Oh, my. I was not expecting that. Spirit, unfortunately, ran out of ammo. Tried to get the 3-0, but couldn't get it done. It's now 1-1 one one Warp for Spirit. I'm surprised Spirit to get that one, but unfortunately, he had to reload both weapons, so... Warp got the easy shots off of him, and there's nothing Spirit could do. Warp with an easy shot. Looks like he's trying to put Spirit in the montage, and I don't think Spirit wants that to happen. It looks like Spirit's just kind of stuck down below, man. I don't think he's going to be able to get past him. It sounds like Spirit fell a little bit. Oh, Spirit's dropping. I thought he fell. Yeah, Spirit takes 11 fall damage. Going to go for the shot. Dang. Warp beaming Spirit a little bit. Warp is on mouse and keyboard, so surprising factor that Spirit didn't beam him back, but that's very unfortunate. Warp does get dropped, but gets a little bit of damage off. Spirit's going to try and edit this. He knows that. And there's the cone off. Spirit with the kill. The aim is just hitting different as Spirit goes up 2-1 against Warp, man. This is a good matchup here. Spirit showing that he came to play, man. It is 2-1. If Spirit wins this one, it is the end of the game, man. Spirit's going to try and have to get away from him, but... Not too sure that's going to happen. Warp is locked on. Warp is not wanting to lose this. And Warp shows it, man. Another pump from him. Spirit down to 50 HP. You're going to try and heal back up to 100. But I don't know if Warp's going to let him get that mini off. Spirit has to. Spirit's not going to fight him. He knows that Warp gets crazy pumps. So Spirit needs to get these minis off at 40 HP. And Warp's looking for an oddball shock and shot like he normally does. Can he go for a jump shot here? And it looks like Spirit might lose this one, man. Spirit's going to try and drop... And there's Warp with a shotgun shot, right as expected. Two to two. Whoever wins this one wins the round, man. I'm super excited. Yep, there goes Warp. Straight up, not doing his normal tactics. Ops for just the straight 90s. I'm not too sure if he was messing them up before. What's going on? But he is going for the straight 90s up. Still has at least a layer or two above Spirit here. Spirit's going to try and get up, but... I um, wouldn't be surprised if Warp just tries to get some shots off on him, man. If Warp can get a few shotgun shots off, he should be fine. There it is, 180. Spirit's down to 20 HP, and Spirit knows it's over. Spirit, unfortunately, knows it's over. I'm not too sure how he's going to get away from this. He can barely touch Storm. He's at 20 HP, man. Spirit drops, and Warp goes for that shotgun shot again. Does miss it, but he's stuck in, stuck in Spirit's cone. This could be unfortunate for either party, man. Spirit does have a fighting chance, but man, is it slim. 
20 HP while Warp has full 200. Spirit's only chance is to either try and heal up or get that 200. And Warp does take his wall. Spirit looks like he's going to go for the high ground. Try and heal here. But Warp does not want him to do that at all. Looking for a shotgun shot, but can't find it yet. Going to flip the staircase. Misses the flip. And he's going to go for low ground. Just try and shoot him out then. Not too sure what he's waiting for. Maybe his finger slipped or something. I don't know what he's waiting for. He's just going to let Spirit heal here. I don't know what's happening. Spirit given... He gave him enough time to heal. He could bring this back easily, man. He could bring this back easily. Spirit going from 20 HP. And now Warp is low. Warp's at 39 HP. She's going to drop him. Spirit just won. Spirit just beat Warp. Spirit was at 20 HP and Warp let him heal. Let's see it, man. Diggy on controller. Thief on mouse and keyboard. Once again, both players did 3-0 their opponents, so... Diggy getting ready, singing some songs, trying to give me copyright, but that's all right. They are starting out on a Thief here, the mouse and keyboard player, and Thief sees his competition, and I'm sure he is nervous. Diggy going right for him, and he's not even going to let him build. He's going to go right for the spray, and Thief not shooting there. Looks like he's kind of upset. Oh, he says he blanked him, but he didn't even shoot him on my screen. Very unfortunate for Thief. And I think Thief he might have because he didn't show that you shot on my screen. Oh, Diggy giving him some tips here. Diggy, nicest opponent we've had all day. Thief does just barely dodge that shotgun shot. And Diggy, going absolutely insane like we saw beforehand. And Thief knows he's going to have to tunnel here. Thief's wasting a bunch of mats with this tunnel. He's going to try and get that high ground, but I'm not too sure Diggy's going to let him. Coming out with the pump. And another pump. Oh, my. Diggy's going crazy. Diggy's still giving him words of encouragement as he's absolutely slapping Thief. Thief, there's nothing he can do. Seemingly, uh, Diggy, Diggy jumps in his box, 5 HP. Bro, I make TikToks, I make TikToks, leave me alone. And Diggy with the first round. Thief absolutely terrified, but does get a nice little pump there. Very surprised on that one. Come on. Oh, Diggy missing the pump and Thief knows he's low. He's going to have to go for the kill now, man. He has to go for it. Diggy super low oh and God. missing his shot. I'm not too sure how he does it. Yeah, he's going to have to be heal here. going to try and go for a shot, but Thief does cover in time. Both players hit each other, man. Diggy on 45. <gasps> no Diggy way, just shreds dude. Thief. The shotgun shot from Diggy. Diggy goes up 2-0 on Thief. The controller player on top Wait, you once said you again. Have Diggy keeping that high ground as right, always. And not get three out of here. Thief. I'm telling you guys he does not want to get 3-0, but fortunately it looks like he might. Diggy's feeling himself. Diggy is feeling it. Diggy's going to go for a, a quick little edit pump here. Does box Thief 150. Okay, maybe, dealt maybe. both walls above. And it looks like Diggy got this one, man. He's going to try to get in his box. Gets the ramp as well. Oh my. Look at the performance from Diggy here, man. And oh, doesn't actually yeah, eliminate him, which I'm surprised about. Diggy's putting Thief in the montage. This is embarrassing. Don't this is me. absolutely embarrassing, and Thief knows it, and Thief knows it, Diggy letting off a little bit, but Thief is very, very scared of Diggy here, man. Diggy going absolutely crazy, man, and it looks like if Diggy can get one or two more shots on him, it should be a pretty easy win for him here. Thief is low, and he has both again. Diggy missing the edits, but... Looks like he's just going to try and drop here and get the shot. Diggy does miss the shot, though. Again, gets the roof and floor above Thief. Not much Thief can do here. Both players are going to start running out of mad soon, but Diggy's countering everything Thief could possibly try and do. Any direction Thief could go, Diggy's countering it, man. He's not letting him come up one bit, not letting him get anywhere near him, and hopefully, hopefully going to try and go for a shot here. No. Looks like Diggy doesn't know where he is and Thief yeah, fell to his death. GG's 3-0. Diggy versus Thief. GG's boys. Friends? Diggy <laughs> asking his opponent Jeez, to be friends man. once again, man. Thief, a little too salty for that one, but it's all right. Coming into the final round, Diggy versus Spirit. Both players have had an insane tournament so far. Both players are on controllers, so happen to be a controller versus controller in the end of it. And both players look like to get, they're getting off to a pretty decent start. Diggy does get this high ground. I'm, Diggy with 114 pump starting off the bat. Diggy's really feeling himself, man. Spirit did get a fish off. I'm not too sure if he got a mini, but he did get a fish for sure. So I know Diggy was uh, pretty confident coming into this one, and Spirit was not very confident at all. I'm not too sure why, but I can see now that Diggy takes round one just like that. He said GG's already. Diggy's oh, already calling it, man. Diggy, giving Spirit some well, advice. Me, I just know I'm going to lose. <laughs> Spirit already accepting his fate, unfortunately. But 
Uh, my boy Diggy's still trying to be nice to him. Still trying to show him some respect, but doesn't look like Diggy is gonna he's gonna let up here, man. Diggy getting off to a much better start than Spear, but does mess up that one wall. Not too sure if that's going to cause everything, but they are in the same box. Both players get a fantastic pump, and Spirit, easy win for him on that round two, man. Spirit takes out the SMG. Right, one to one, man. One to one. Be one. Be one. Diggy already knows he's calling it, man. Spirit, I think he's getting some confidence back here. He needs that Spirit alive in him. Round three has started. Both players absolutely cranking to the sky, and... Looks like Spirit's actually on top of this one. Diggy might try and break down like he did before, and that's definitely what he's going for. Spirit's going to try and look for a shotgun shot, but that was actually a distraction. I guess Diggy, uh, Diggy fake broke down, and once Spirit wasn't paying attention, he retook high ground, and just like that, Diggy's on top. Diggy predicting every single one of Spirit's moves. Spirit does hit him for 40, and Diggy's going to heal here as well as Spirit. So both players a little bit healed up. Diggy does have that wall, but he's just going to let him go. Spirit, ultimate low ground. Diggy actually jumps on him. Very risky play there. Unfortunately, Spirit doesn't get the shot off. But Diggy thought he was completely out of mats. But both players are looking like they're going to be out of mats here soon. So Spirit needs to get a shot out on him. Spirit's stuck in zone. He needs to move, man. And now he knows Diggy has confirmed it that Spirit is out of mats. He's just trying to wait. Trying to be a trickster. Both of them are on controllers. So they're going to have some nutty shots here. Oh! Both players didn't know where each other were. And... It's going to be the aim assist battle right here. Both players getting close for the shotgun. They both missed their shotgun. One shotgun hit. And looks like Spirit might take this one. Diggy with the shot. 2-1 Diggy, man. 2-1. to one. Diggy is up if he wins this round. He does win the entire tournament. Diggy. Looks like he's going for high ground again. Once again, holding that high ground. Going to try and predict every single one of Spirit's moves. Staying a little bit back so Spirit doesn't get that cheeky pump out. But... Oh, Diggy with 106 pump, and I know Spirit is trembling. Diggy trying to take his roof, but not too sure if he got it. Spirit goes for the crazy, crazy pump, but unfortunately misses it, man. That could have been huge for him. Spirit still trying to get that high ground. Diggy takes both, but Spirit gets that pump off, man. Diggy got no damage there. Diggy with the 71, so he knows he's low. Didn't break his shield, but Diggy now singing a song. Not too sure what's happening here. Maybe this is... Oh, Spirit catched him. Caught him. I don't know. Spirit caught him like a fish. Normally you box him, but he caught him. Real surprising there. Diggy should have went down, unfortunately, for uh, Spirit. He accidentally caught him with his builds, and Diggy with the win, man. Diggy with the win. How does it feel to be the first Orcify tournament winner? This is the first tournament I've ever held. Uh, it, it feels great, bro. It feels great. But I just put my themes in the chat. It's All my socials are the same. It's DZGGY. If you guys did enjoy that video, as always, make sure to leave a like, consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. That is the end of the tournament. If you guys did enjoy the tournament, make sure to let me know. If you want me to host another one, also let me know down in the comment section below what kind of tournament I should host. This was actually really fun. I've never done one of these before, so I'm definitely down to do some more. If you guys want to be the next one, make sure to follow me over on Twitter. That's where I ask you guys to be in all my videos. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and as always, deuces.